Okay, so there's this little problem with this Nautilus flyer mesh, and it involves these little uh, displacement details you see scattered about the model. Uh, they won't render properly because of a little quirk, which I think may be a moto bug, involving displacements and this kind of a model, which was assembled from a bunch of separate meshes, uh, combined into a single mesh, which was uh, required for uploading it as an asset. Uh, you can see the effect of this on UVs if you take a look at the UV map. This tangled mess uh, represents all the various UVs that were that belong to each of the individual source meshes. They all share the same space, the 1 to 0 UV space, and even if we isolate one, like the chair here, you can see that the seat, the pilot seat, you can see that it overlaps all of the others. If we uh, hide everything else, and look at just that portion of the mesh. And remember, this is all just, again, just one mesh. If we hide everything else, you'll see that indeed it's a sensible uh, UV map covering just the polygons uh, that belong to the chair. And this works for everything, uh, RGBs and uh, um, diffuse color and uh, bump, but seems to cause a problem with displacement. So the way we're going to fix this is we're going to divide the mesh back into several meshes. Fortunately, we only need to create three meshes since there are only three displacement maps involved in this entire model. So to do that, we make sure that the item is selected. That's our whole mesh there in the items list. And then if we look down here in the list tab, uh, statistics, um, and then polygon by selection set we can find the part of the mesh that we want to cut back out and make into a separate mesh. And in this case, we'll start with the seat. So there again, I've selected the seat's polygons, and I'm going to cut them. And you notice that we are in polygon selection mode. That's important here. OK, and the seat just disappeared because it's been cut from the mesh. Now we go back up here to items and add a new item, which is a mesh. That appears just above the original mesh and still inside of the not flyer group that you see there. And all we have to do to finish that process is paste. So there you go. We've pasted the cut seat polygons into a new mesh. You can see them there if you look closely, hiding inside the cockpit bubble. And uh, it's always a good idea to rename these things uh, so that you remember what you did there. So we'll just call that one seat. And that's all there is to the process. Just cut, create a new mesh, and paste. And again, fortunately, we only have to do this one more time uh, with the main body. So we select its polygons from the list there and do the same thing. Cut. Oh, and this cut will take a little while. And it'll disappear. Go back up to items. Add item. Mesh and paste. Now once that's done, everything is fine. As long as they are in separate meshes, uh, Moto has no problem uh, displaying the heat displacements correctly. And by the way, this is, this. oh, right, and there you go, I'm renaming that one also. Um, this is a uh, generally kind of a, a useful idea in any case. Sometimes you may want to separate out these components that were originally separate meshes for whatever reason, to combine them with some other modeling that you've done or something like that. So it's a useful thing to know in any case. Now, there is one more thing that we need to do to make this work, and that would be a little editing of the shader tree. So we go back up here and notice that we're going to be working with this not flyer uh, group that you see in items once we get to the uh, shader tree. So here we go, off to the shader tree, and here is the containing group of all of the other groups that were brought in with this asset. So inside of there we see all these individual groups that uh, in many cases do relate directly to those original meshes that were combined. What we need to do in this case is for these outer two groups that you see up there at the top, we need to change their item as seen in the properties tab. We need to change that to not flyer. Originally, uh, the asset had it set to this single mesh. Uh, instead, we want to change it to not flyer, which is that item group that we saw in the items list. And that way, all of the 
uh, shader groups inside will be used by these new meshes. And uh, once that's done, everything should work. If you do a quick preview render, you'll see that the displacements are indeed being rendered and uh, nice and cleanly. And the real proof comes when you do the final rendering, which should look like this. So I hope that uh, clears up that little problem for you. Uh, sorry for the trouble, and uh, thanks so much.